spend our time in places we want to be. That's the whole reason for us getting on the road in our RV. It was most important for me to spend my time with my wife and my kids. And so that's why we took off on the road. I mean, even like here, a lot of people will bring their lunch to job site. I'll drive the mile that it takes to go back or get a ride the mile it takes to get back to camp, have lunch with Kelly and the boys. Uh, we get an hour for lunch, so I'm normally holding a sandwich, eating it while I'm playing soccer or football with the boys. Just enjoying our time together, enjoying the journey, enjoying the travel days, of course, enjoying the destinations. That's just a piece of the RV puzzle for for us is enjoying the world that's around us, enjoying the scenery, enjoying nature, enjoying meeting people that are around us. It is just a lot of fun. Um, when you make it a point to change your priorities and make some big life changes to support that, uh, it really and truly changes everything about the way that you live and man we we are not going back to the other direction the priorities that we've set to put uh kelly and i have set to put each other uh above and then the kids and to make sure that the time gets spent when it needs to get spent and it doesn't mean we don't do things and it doesn't mean we don't do the, all the rest of the stuff, but we make sure that our priorities are still our priorities. And man, it's such a fun life. It's such a different life. I used to do the corporate stuff. I used to do the white collar jobs. I did blue collar jobs. I've done them all. And it has been a huge breath of fresh air. It's been recharging been able to recharge our batteries by going this lifestyle we've been able to just be a lot more peaceful a lot less stressed and all of that leads to being a lot more happy and joyful and everybody wants to be that so uh, for those of you that are on the fence just want to encourage you that it is possible it is possible to do it with a large family and it is possible to do it without spending tons and tons of money uh, we're going to release a video coming up of uh, how you can do this lifestyle without spending a ton of money because there's always money to spend on RV stuff and RV parks and RV resorts and doing stuff and all of that. But there's ways to do it where you can do the same things for a little bit cheaper or you can do it on discounts or you can do it like, did you know that a fourth grader can get the National Park Pass for free? So you don't got to pay 80 bucks that year and you get to go to all the national parks. Just little things like that. But um, yeah, we're going to, we're finishing up this build. We got one more week here and then we got to figure out what we're going to do next. We got a lot of opportunity. We might go to Maine. We might go to North Carolina. We might go to Tennessee um, and we might go out to Utah. We haven't figured that part out yet, but it's going to be a lot of fun. It's such an adventure that we've been on since 2018. Uh, lots of speed bumps, lots of curveballs, lots of <sighs> hard times. We're not going to let it get us down. We're not going to let it um, deter us from the goals and the things we want to do. So, yeah. One of the most valuable things that you have in your life to give is your time. We've, uh, we've been down here in Florida for a little while. Uh, we've never done it before, but we have been looking for something. And so this year we decided that we were going to volunteer at Habitat for Humanity, um, building houses. And it's been a lot of fun. It's been relaxing. We've met a lot of really cool people, made some good new friends, but we also have the opportunity to, uh, be a part of the community and giving back and making the community a better place for all the people that are there and to give people a hand up uh, when that's when that's really what they're looking for is the hand up so 
It's been a lot of fun. Um, we normally don't make videos on all the stuff that we do, but this one has been super impactful and we've really enjoyed it. And we're definitely going to be doing this again next year and the year after that. And anywhere we go in the U.S. where they do have one and uh, we don't have any obligations and I don't have any solar battery installs. Uh, I don't have any uh, RV inspections. I don't have any RV work to do. Um, we'll definitely be finding uh, something to do like this. All the different kinds of things, always running around the campground, helping everybody out with their rigs and helping them uh, with their solar or their electrical. I've been doing a lot of electrical uh, in RVs lately, but it's been a lot of fun. But since time is the most valuable thing that you have, where you spend your time says a lot about you as a person, says a lot about us as people. And so we've chosen to spend our time in places we want to be. That's the whole reason for us getting on the road in our RV. This is a little bit different video, but appreciate you watching till the end. Hopefully we see you on the road. We're on to the next adventure.